Hello guys, in this video I am going to present you Matryoshka representation learning. Matryoshka means a Russian doll and the significance is quite interesting. Matryoshka dolls are a traditional representation of mother carrying a child within her and can be seen as a representation of a chain of mothers carrying on the family legacy. So the naming of this research is quite interesting. Matryoshka representation learning or MRL for short is a flexible representation learning approach that encodes information at multiple granularities in a single embedding vector. This enables the MRL to adapt to a downstream task statistical complexity as well as the available compute resources. In this research, the researchers have demonstrated that MRL can be used for large-scale adaptive classification as well as adaptive retrieval. On standard benchmarks, the performance of MRL is quite good. It matches the accuracy of the fixed feature baseline despite using 14 times smaller representation size on average. The Matryoshka representation-based adaptive shortlisting and re-ranking system ensures comparable map at 10 to the baseline where being 128 times cheaper in flops and 14 times faster in wall clock time. Most of the efficiency techniques for model inference and vector search are complementary to MRL and this is where it is further assisting in deployment at the compute extreme environment. Now if you go through it, this paper it shows you that as I said that this MRL or Matryoshka representation learning is adaptable to any representation learning setup and begets a Matryoshka representation Z by optimizing the original loss as you can see in this diagram. The idea is that the learned representations are a central component in any modern machine learning system serving a multitude of downstream tasks. When training such representation, it is often the case that the computational and statistical constraints for each downstream task are unknown. In this context, a rigid fixed capacity representation can be either over or under accommodating to the task at hand. This leads us to or raises a question that can we design a flexible representation that can adapt to multiple downstream tasks with varying computational resources and that is where this Matryoshka representation learning is quite promising. Now there are various examples scattered throughout this paper but if you look at this diagram this is showing you the grad game progression of predictions in MRL models across 8, 16, 32 and 2048 dimensions. The first one, the first row is the 8 dimensional representation of uh, confuses due to the presence of other relevant object with a larger field of view in the scene and predicts shower cap towards the end. Now the B is again a 8 dimensional model and confuses within the su same superclass of BOA. The, road, the third row is 8 and 16 models incorrectly focusing on the eyes of the doll which is sunglasses and not the sweatshirt which is the correctly focusing at higher dimensions. MRL fails gracefully in these scenarios and shows potential use cases of disagreement across dimensions and that is the whole idea behind it. That's it. I hope that this was useful. I think that um, in most of the use cases around the this dimensional system especially the sentence transformers are going to be a game changer if implemented correctly and in the real world use case. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this? I think quite good and quite promising and we might see some tooling emerging from this new research. So heads off to all of these researchers who have done a wonderful work. If you have any thoughts or questions let me know. I'll be to discuss further in the comments and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and also a heartfelt uh, personal request that if you're liking the content then please share the videos and the channel among your network on your social media as it helps a lot.
Thanks for watching.